Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Stardew Valley. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in my house, of course. Abigail, where's Abigail? Where's Abigail? Abigail, aw, oh, she left. Well, hopefully today is gonna be a lucky day. Fortune teller, let's see. A Gleamer, a spiritual neutral today, aw. I kinda wanted um, the day to be lucky because I, I wanna process my geodes. Uh, it's gonna be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Today, I think, is the day of, uh, let's say hi to Mark over here. Um, let's see how he loves me. I think that's stuck. I don't think that moves. Um, so yeah, th today I think is the day of the uh, fall thingy. Yeah, the Spirit's Eve. We have a lot of things to do, but uh, that's we're not going to the Falls Eve until very, very late. Because I think that starts like at... Uh, I actually don't remember what time it is, but it's like 10 p.m., I think. So it should be okay. It should be alright. Okay, moving on then. Uh, what are we missing for making more of the barrels down there? I think it, it is uh, oak resin, I believe. Let's sell a few of these things over here. Very good. Abigail is uh, playing a tune on her recorder. It's not really a recorder. It's a, it's a flute. It's a proper one. Uh, and uh, I, I'm sure she would punch me if, if, she, if she heard me saying it was a recorder. It's fine. Uh, so, for me, recorded always, uh, the, the word recorder always sounded very weird, because we call it a flute when, uh, well, in Portuguese anyway, we call it a flute, it might not be a flute, it probably isn't, uh, but we call it a flute when we are in, uh, sort of, you know, that age at school where you learn that, and, um, and it's, and, and I'm pretty sure it is a recorder, and I'm pretty sure, like, I mean, I, I think the, the thing we play here in Portugal is the same as the thing, you know, the uh, children play in uh, in the U.S. at the very least, because apparently the recorder is also, or the, the recorder is the instrument that uh, is taught at school to uh, ten-year-olds and uh, and eleven-year-olds. So let's see what we are. I guess you know older olds because of uh, skipping a year or missing a year or whatever. Whatever you do, is you're not you know up to the grades and stuff. If you miss the grades, okay. Let's just milk all of this. Say hi to the pigs, there's a cow that I'm missing. There we go. Let's keep an eye on the pigs. Well, almost there. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. The cows are good, and the goats are all good, right? So many meh. There we go. Good stuff. Let's open this so the pigs can do their thing. I don't think they're going to do anything, but still, let's open it nonetheless. Let's please get around that. Thank you very much. We have a little bit of a... Cranberry over here. I'm not really sure why I have that. I don't think I should have that, but sure, it doesn't matter for right now. It's the second to last day, so maybe we're gonna get another cranberry uh, thingy. Ooh, we got a huge pumpkin over there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, get that over there. Get this. What do we have? Strawberries. Okay. They're gonna keep growing forever. That thing over there, I'm not really sure what I'm going to plant there, but I think there's going to be things in in, uh, in winter that I'm going to want to plant anyway, so we'll see, we'll see. Money is not a concern right now. This is a very, very nice greenhouse for me. Just look at the amount of things I got. I, I think it paid off the amount of time I spent trying to prepare this. Uh, I could have optimized it a little bit more for more uh, grapes, but it really doesn't matter. Grapes are not a, uh, a priority. So, can't get that. I have some junk over here that is not needed, so I'll get it right there. And uh, we're not going to have enough space in our inventory, for sure. Look at that, not even that. Seriously? Okay, well, Periwinkle could throw that away. Since I'm... it's really not required. And the cranberries can throw those away as well. Man, I just... I... huh. Okay, uh... And the grapes. Sure. Throw the grapes away. We're never going to use them, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and we got all the eggs, which is nice. That allows me not to come back over here because the day is a busy day. And I think I'll be able to pick up all of the all of the corn or the cobs or corn cobs or whatever this is. There's some oak resin over there. Very, very important. I'm going to get it before I go inside because I believe I need some iron, some wood, and some copper as well. Speaking of copper, I'll probably bring like a full stack of copper uh, to the mines uh, because I think that's gonna be what we're gonna do today. 
uh, before we go to the, um, the f uh, what's it called, the fall thingy, the festival. Uh, that's, these things never go, do they? Or maybe they do, they're just, yeah, they, I think they do, they're uh, sunflowers. Uh, so let's say hi to Pike, over there. Let's get my horse, where's the horse? Let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, let's sell a few things. So yeah, um, we're gonna kill some mummies, hopefully. Uh, so let's sell that, and this, and this, and this. Sell that as well. Sell that one. Sell that one, and that one. Good stuff. And sell that one as well. No reason to keep it. Over here we have, yep, more pumpkins. That's good that I'm keeping them, even though I'm not really sure I need them at all. Let's check over here, because, uh, no, that's good. Over here, I put in that, and let's go inside. Uh, also, yeah, forgot about something. So I need one. I need one. I need 30. Ah, one too short. And I'm going to bring all of those, all those coppers, and uh, we're going to use that for making bombs. When we go down to the, uh, to the thing, to the, to the mines. Okay, get that over there, and uh, let's... Oh, did I forget? I forgot, didn't I? I forgot to get the oak resin. Dang it! Uh, didn't optimize this properly. Get it over there. Thank you. Maple syrup. So not oak resin. Lovely. <laughs> Sell the maple syrup. No, don't do that, you idiot. Sell it. Where is it? Right there. Don't need it. Okay, so put that in there, and uh, let's go. Uh, I can bring the coal as well. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's put that in there. And we can sell the rest when we come out. Because we're going through there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, didn't get a... I think it is 10pm. I hope it is 10pm, otherwise we're going to miss it. Uh, so if it isn't, well, I'm, I'm, yeah. Let's see. Put that over there. Put that one over there. And these ones... Right here. One, two, three, and four. And then the rest goes in there. And these go somewhere else. That goes over here. Good, good, good. All making those nice noises of money being made. Because it is effectively what it is. Uh, I, yeah, mushrooms or strawberries over there. Good stuff. And uh, let's sell the cheese. Like he's going along the corn field. And off we go. Any wiggly worms? No. No wiggly worms. Hey, Pam, how's it going? Let's go to the Calico Desert. Whoa. <laughs> what was that path right there? Huh, just went up and then went down. It's kind of weird. I think it was become Pam was in the way. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna kill mummies because that is our objective or one of our objectives. So hopefully we'll, we'll be all right with that. We'll see. We'll see, first go in here. There we go. And we got mummies. Fantastic. Okay. And also we have that. We saw that spawn. Look at that. We saw that spawn. Okay. Okay. One mummy gone. There's another one. There's two more. Okay. Good. Oh, need to make another one. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to place them together. Go with that. Yeah. Okay, getting those. Uh, let's go another one. Let's get another one. So basically, the way I want this to work is that uh, if I see a mummy, I craft. I craft one of those things. Like that. Just put it over there. I'm gonna need to make another one because. Oh, I got all of them. What it? Oh, we got miner street, extra mining, mm. and the magnetism. The magnetism is okay, but not really something I really care about too much. So, bleh. well, whatever. The mining is also interesting, but it's a neutral day, so. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be any mummies over here. That guy took forever. Okay. Oh, I wanted to avoid it. There we go. Mm, I'm not really sure. Still, I'm not really sure. I think I found out last time around what dictates whether or not some um, a slime uh, spawns more slimes. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to get too much in here. 
I'm mostly looking for mummies, so it's just finding a way down. Oh, there it is! We found a way down. Fantastic. Let's get that over there. Oh, we got another one coming. Okay. And we got another way down. Let's go through here. Because I don't know if these things... Eight levels. Oh, that wasn't very good. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I'm not going to blow anything up over there. Or maybe I should, actually. Yeah, let's, let's do it. So put that in there. Not like that. Like this. Thank you. Good, good, good. And let's put it right there. Get out of there. So I don't die. Well, I won't die, but... I think we've been hit by our own bombs before, so... It, it, I survived, I think. <laughs> uh, and besides, the enemies don't die, so... Yeah, they don't die immediately. So it's not a big deal. Uh, can I make another one? Right there. Okay. I don't think I found the way down. I'm gonna check it out in a little bit. There's something down there. We found the way down! Good, let's go. Okay, I think... No, actually, this is not a mummy place. Aw, oh, seriously? Okay, keep going. I really didn't want to get hit by that guy. Not another mummy place. Keep getting the way down. Oh, this might be. I think this might be. I'm pretty sure this is. Okay, yeah, it is. Good. And we'll be warned when we get our money co quota filled up. So let's get over there. Let's see if there's another one. I don't think so. We have plenty of materials for that, though, but... Oh, don't eat the mushroom. That's gonna kill you, I think. Got a bunch of co coal over there. Uh, is it gonna kill you? Yes, it is. Well, energy is not gonna kill you. It's just gonna reduce your energy by a bunch. It's really nasty. Especially because those things are quite expensive. Okay. Are we gonna get lucky here and just go for a... Yeah, maybe. Get a bunch of... Uh, like, get a stream of, of levels that... Um, that... Uh, that have mummies in them. I'm now realizing I don't know... I don't remember where the festival is. I hope it's in town. Because... It's either in town or in the beach. The fall festival. Could be in the forest. Oh, that's gonna be a bad thing. I need to go back home fast. If I need to find what it is. As I say fast, really it's not very fast, but like 8 p.m. should be enough. I mean, we're getting good stuff in here. The mummies are really the objective though, so. Because everything else I have plenty of already. How have I not gotten hit by that one? And he gave me a nice diamond, which is fantastic. Abigail loves it. And that guy has something in it. It has a magnet ring. Yeah, I don't need the magnet rings. Thank you. But there's two of them. They both spawned right now. And they got it. Ooh, large bomb. Okay, let's use it. Let's use it because... Oh, there's no place for it. Okay. Oh, you don't want to get hit. And there's a way down. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of these guys. I'm okay with that. Uh, more or less. I risked that a little bit too much, didn't I? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit frisky on the uh, positioning here. My health was a little bit too low, and I did not notice that. I don't know what made it be so low. Was it the that last attack, or was it already low? Hmm. Okay, so at 8 p.m. we need to leave, which means at 7, uh, 7 and a half we need to get ready. Or half past 7, that's how it goes. Seriously, that guy was just the strongest. Okay, I don't need no poo. We got some of that iridium. And of course now the mining might... There it is. The frame frame rate doesn't agree with me today, but that's fine. Sometimes it happens. I'm not really sure. I think this is not iridium. It was. And I hit this guy with the... 
with the uh, with a pickaxe, which is fantastic. Okay, still no mummy levels. There's a bat. Don't need your bat wings. Even though they are not a nice source of money. I wonder what it is to play the game uh, simply based on a uh, on a particular like simply going exploring all day every day. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's interesting because the like getting money just from bat wings, because that could work. Okay, so we have a a reasonable exit over there because it's getting pretty late. I don't think I can pick that up. I can't. I can throw away. What can I throw away? What can I throw? Some sap. Don't need no sap. I'll get that. I mean, I do need the sap. It's just I'm gonna have to sell it so I can I can buy it as well. I think. Yeah, we didn't find any more mummies. That is unfortunate. Okay. I think it's time to go home. I think it's time to say goodbye to this place. And go back home. I mean, I could have kept going for a little while longer, but... There we go. And leave the mine. Off we go. Into the bus. And, uh, perfectly timed, having a little bit of a... Well, maybe the game is gonna tell me, like, the... Maybe the fair started at a certain place or something. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I really should have... Yeah, Roach is wondering where you've been. Thank you, Roach! I like you too. Okay. Let's see. So I have a few things over here. I have a diamond that I can sell. Uh, I have uh, the purple mushroom that I don't need. The frozen tear that I don't need either. The rest of the stuff I'm going to keep except for the emeralds. Let's see what I can do over here. So it still hasn't told me. I think we'll have plenty of time. Let's get that over there. Let's get yeah, let's get a couple more right there. So I can do this. Yeah, I think that's a... Instead of making just a bunch of bombs, I think it's better to bring the ingredients. Because that way you can you just make the, the ones you need and you save the rest. Which is always good. I suppose. I don't think I need the quartz. Or the fire quartz. The only quartz that I've seen personally is only this sort of quartz. Sometimes you'll see different colors, but it's not. It's usually very uh, white. It's just normally that sort of quartz is what I find um, in, my, in my own, you know, sort of backyard and all that sort of stuff. Uh, if you find quartz at all. Because... That's usually, they usually, quartz usually comes from um, specific mining places, because the land needs to be, you know, turned around, t turned around, but you do find little pieces of quartz here and there, at least here in Portugal you, you will, we're, a, we're on a sort of a bank of quartz, uh, the north part of the country, because it's sort of sedimentary, the way the, the peninsula uh, was created. I don't remember exactly the details, but I do know that there's a bit of it next to the capital of the country that uh, that is not the same. This basically has a, a different geological formation. I studied that a little bit because the because as an archaeologist, you you'll need to deal directly with the um, Abigail. Aw, didn't say anything to her. Um, you'll need need to deal directly with the um, with the uh, the soil itself. So yeah, you you need to know you need to know things. Okay, let's fish a little bit. Oh, fishing spot over there. A neutral day. Let's see what we get. Uh, also, I shouldn't be wasting my time. Oh, I wanted to get that treasure. I shouldn't be wasting my time because... Got a bream. Nice. Uh, because I need to close this. And I'm not going to want to come back down here later. Okay. Get that over there. Uh, is there another one? Nope, there's not. Okay, just one throw. I throw so far. Just one throw to see where... Oh, we got a treasure. Right there. To see where the festivities are. It's not really... I'm not sure if it's if it's a festivity. I don't remember what it is. It's, is it the... Uh, it's not the... Um, okay, a rusty spoon. It's not the... Um, Oh, there it is. Spirit Eve has begun in Town Square. Okay. Oh, it's Halloween. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it 
You know what I mean. It's Halloween. It's the analog of Halloween. Let's put it over there. Where's Roach? Well, he's there. I couldn't see him. So let's go to Town Square and uh, and see what everybody's up to. Oh, don't get stuck on things. Come on. Okay. Sorry about that little break. Let's see what the shop has for us. A jack-o'-lantern. A rare crow. I think I have that one. If I don't, I will get it. There we go. I mean, I can just splurge all the money. A whimsical fall decoration. Jack-o'-lantern. I can buy a couple. Let's buy four. Four jack-o'-lanterns. Hey, everybody. Hey, little yas. How's it going? Oh, but Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. Hi, Zach. Have you had a productive fall? She says. Uh, it's starting to get quite cold. Crops won't hold out for much longer. Yeah, I remember getting the... Hey, Ailey, how's it going? Eek, I'm too scared. Are you? Hey, Pierre, can I talk to you? No, I can't. Really? I mean, I should be able to. It's just she's standing in the way. Okay. Uh, so you guys remember us being able to complete this? Because I remember being able to complete this. We have the golden pumpkin. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. Hmm. I'm lost, she says. Well, Harvey's definitely lost. Hey, Harvey. What's up, man? Oh, you found me. Uh, the truth is I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. Sure. Hey, what's Abigail doing over there? We have a lantern over here. Can't do anything with it, though. Okay. Let's well, let's see if I can figure out the maze again. I think I, I think I remember fi uh, figuring it out sort of uh, by mistake. Oh. Hey, Penny. The vapor from this cauldron, it's making my head spin. But I can't seem to leave. Yeah, because you're a junkie. Can I go in? Can't go in. Don't really know what to do with these hands. I don't think they... I, th I think I think they block me, basically. That's what it is. Uh, okay. So, we're sort of stuck. Can't go over there. Oh, no, I see that. I see that. See that over there? Also, I, I didn't explore this, but... Oh, you can't go in. You got a television. Oh, it's, it shows something. What is it? Oh, it's a green monster with a red backdrop. Yeah. And a red mouth as well with teeth. Oh, there's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? Says Asks Alex. There's got to be a secret passage somewhere around here. Yeah. It's that thing over there. Hey, Abigail. Oh, you'll have to tell me what's beyond. I can't go on. Spiders. You don't like spiders? Aw. Oh. Hey, little spider. Can't do anything, though, with them. It's just spiders. <laughs> what do we have over here? Hey, Sam. Oh, that's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. Odd? Hmm. I could have sworn there was someone ahead of me when I went through the maze, though. Where did they go? Yeah, where did they go indeed? What? Well, see, that's... that's that's the lucky that's 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 the lucky thing that happened to me uh so this allows you to go back through here uh <coughs> excuse me and then up through here and then there's gonna be a place where you get blocked and you go down and you get unblocked and then over here you open that and you get the golden pumpkin you receive a golden pumpkin and I can't get out so you need to go back all the way through the maze get stuck again press up so it's basically there's like this sort of shape in there I wonder if Sam's gonna say something hey man I went through yeah there's a dead end there's never a dead end if you're in a maze like this I mean th this bush is pretty thick actually it's pretty uh, it's pretty hard to get through it should be possible anyway it should always be possible to just climb over these these things because they're not made of thorns and even if they are made of thorns, it should be possible to climb over them. Just, you know, you gotta get a little bit injured, but, you know, it's just thorns. How hard could it be? Unless it's just the really nasty needle thorns that are just terrible. Hey, uh, what's your name? Marlon, that's right, I was just thinking of Marcus. Uh, don't get too close to the cage. Uh, yeah, I've been killing these things today. Hey, Sebastian. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah. It's, uh, Shane, that's right. Why is... No, why is there no more pumpkin ale? Pumpkin ale? 
Hey Clint, are you make are you drinking too much ale? One of my iridium infused maces would make quick work of these things. Yeah, it's just funny that you are not the one who sells me weapons. Uh, Robin says, "Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wood and stone." I haven't seen Maru in hours. I hope she's all right. Asks, uh, says Demetrius. Yeah, I have no idea where Maru is. Oh, she's in there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was thinking of his wife, actually. Uh, it's a lot, and then I realized that's her wife. That's his wife. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkin. Such an interesting fruit, says Gus. I suppose it is. I'll come to any ev event with free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though, says Pam. Hey, Lewis. Good evening, Zach. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. Hey, little Vincent. Mother won't let me go in there. Aww. Hey. Uh, why, hello, Zach. It's chilly, isn't it? Says Elliot. Hey, Jody. Vincent's upset that I won't let him go into the haunted maze. But he's just a little boy. Yeah, that's the reason why you let them go into the haunted maze. Because grown-ups don't really... I mean, unless they have a little boy inside. Don't really enjoy that. Uh, which, I'm not saying it's the wrong thing to enjoy those, but you know what I mean. Uh, I get scared very easily, says Caroline. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. See? See? Caroline knows, knows what's going on, except for the getting scared of things that are not going to hurt you. Uh, hey, Kent. Hi. Hey, Zach. Nice evening, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, hey, Leah. Oh, I'm sorry. Mouthful of blackberries, she says. Nah, well. And that, that little mischievous smile that she has. Well, she, no, she'll wear whatever. Do you like jack-o'-lanterns? Says Emily. I carved them myself. Yeah, about four. So there we go. There was the Eve... Winter's Eve festival, dead it all, it was. Uh, so yeah, leave. We got everything. And uh, it's already midnight, so we need to go back home. Let's put this in there. jack lanterns as well, get that one. The rare crow, I don't actually know where I keep them. Oh, I know where I keep them. I know where I keep them. Put that over there. Put this over here. Sell that. Not that. Put that one over there, because I forgot about it. And over here, you have their rare crow. There we go. I really don't know if you need to... F if you get any bonus for finding all of them or something. I don't think so, but... You know. You never know. Okay, so this way I don't need to come back in here in the morning. And uh, we can go back to bed. And of course, since, it's ha uh, since it, that was effectively Halloween... Put that over there. Let's say say bye to Abigail. Oh, I said I said all the things I need to say to her. Let's go to bed. Since that was effectively Halloween, tomorrow we're gonna get a Christmas tree. Is that the proper way of doing it? I don't know if it's a proper way of doing it. I haven't had a Christmas tree in many many years, so I don't remember when we made him. I thought it was at the beginning of December. We don't really celebrate Halloween here in Portugal. I mean, some people do. It's just it's not a not a thing. Uh, you know, you can celebrate whatever, it's fine. The Queen of Sauce. What is she gonna say? Fiddled head risotto. Fiddled head ferns are beautiful, but um, are actually but actually quite bland on their own. That's why you have to pay careful attention to the spices you add. I'll be honest, it's not very easy to make a good fiddle head risotto, but with my help, you'll have the best chance at achieving it. Okay. I'm not really sure what a risotto is, but sure. Uh, the spirits feel neutral today. Ah, seriously? Okay, whatever. Uh, it's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Hey, Abigail. You don't mind if I do some redecorating now and then, do, I, do you? I'm still excited to have a place of my own to work on. No, it's all fine. She was complaining about cleaning up things, and I... Uh, that I'm complaining. That I complain. That you shouldn't, you know, remove things. But, let's take care of our Christmas tree. We should have it down here somewhere. Okay. What do I have? What do I have? Where is my Christmas tree? I don't think I have presents to put under it, though. She's just nasty. There it is. Tree of Winter Star. Let's put it over there. In my room. Ah, uh, look at that. Look, at, now it's getting a little bit, you know, more filled up. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so put that over there. Put this over here. Sell. Uh, sell that as well. I didn't even pay attention to the money I gained. It's how, how rich I am now. Hell yeah. Um, and uh, let's get that over here. We can put it right there. How many do we have? Eight. Fantastic. Again, not really sure I need them for anything, but fantastic nonetheless. 
And that is a maple tree. So, not gonna be anything extraordinary. Okay. And then we have a couple of little bits of junk. That's gonna be sold. That is not, but we'll see about that. Put that over there. Let's see what we have over here. We have a truffle. Go inside and milk everybody. Say hi to the pigs first. And now, milk the cows. They're all on this side, which is fantastic. Okay. Cows are milked. Except for that one. Now milk the goats. Okay. So I can keep my head nice and unconfused. There we go. And we have everything. I think. Now open the door. They don't bring brooch, though. Aw. Yeah, all these things are gonna die tomorrow. Not today. Well, effectively today, because they... They could die today, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna grow again. Okay. And there was a little bit of... Actually, wait a minute, that's a good point. That's not a good point, you didn't make a point. I'm just making points to myself. You know how I work, it's crazy, I'm crazy. Uh, but yeah, these things need to be harvested before winter. That's something I didn't do the first time around. Ooh, so many. So so much of it. I'm really not good, doing a good job at all in keeping this thing under control. But I might have, with this much hay that I'm going to get, I might have enough for, for winter. I mean, I did have enough for fall, but then again, I did buy, like, a bunch of it at the beginning. Two silos worth of it. Okay. Okay. I still want to go and kill some more skeletons today. By the way, there we go. Nice and clean. Okay, not gonna send down any trees. Nope, that's not the correct tool. Okay, and we have a maple seed. That's one of the uh, fundamental ingredients for one of the first foods we can make. Which is the, uh, what's it called? It's got a name, like the farmer's thingy. Chewiness. I don't know, it's like a chocolate bar. Except it's not. It's like seeds bar. Okay, get, get all that. I thought that was a thing. Okay, so let's harvest the rest of the stuff. Ooh, what's that doing over there? Oh. Huh. I wonder what happened. Oh, I know what happened. It's the thunder. It breaks things. Okay, I can get back here. It's kind of tricky to see. Okay, and then let's... Nope. Didn't mean to break the tree. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's go in here. We haven't been in there in a long, long time. And we have all manner of fruits. Which is really nice. Okay. Some pine tar right there. That's very important. Do I really need the snail? Not really. Can keep that over there. And uh, not go back home immediately. Because I think... Yeah, I saw that. So it's a good thing I remember about this, because I was going to forget. I was totally going to forget. Because before I started each episode, I think, what, I gonna, what am I going to do in each situation, in this and that, what happens if this, what happens if that. Um, it turns out, of course, I didn't think of that. I didn't think of, of getting that. Okay, there's 92. Oh, that's terrible. Got some pine tar, some maple syrup over here. Can't get the maple syrup. That's fine. Let's sell the things we can sell. Oh, like basically all the gold quality stuff except for the truffles. Uh, don't sell, uh, sell this. That's fine. Sell these. Uh, keep that one. Keep that one. Okay, so up here. Since we have two pine tar. No, it's oak resin. I don't need pine tar. It's oak resin. Yep. I forgot. Totally forgot about that. Okay, put that in there. And then over here. Sell this, or keep this, anyway. Put that in there, and this, okay. And then I can get a little bit more. That's one hay, that's 93. That's two hay. So a little bit more. Well, not too much. I need to check it up. I need to look it up again before I go to Marnie, because I'm going to buy a... Well, actually, I don't need to to buy uh, from Mar Marnie today. We, need to, we can buy it later, it's fine. So let's go inside, and I've got a bunch of rabbit's foots, rabbit's, rabbit's feet, I suppose, uh, and uh, a bunch of 
wool as well. Is it wool? It is. Good stuff. Do you guys love me? They do. All of them. Fantastic. So what are we going to do with that? I'm actually going to give it as gifts today. If I can. And I can, so I will. So maple syrup is going to be sold. Let's go inside and take care of um, cheeses and all that sort of stuff. It's Sunday. The last Sunday of, um, of fall. So I think it's a good day to give gifts. Okay, so this needs to be sold. I'm gonna keep those in there. Okay. Not the most efficient way of doing this, but it's a way of doing this. Okay, it goes in there. Good. Then over here, I keep the rest of the eggs. This one, I keep right there. Uh, I'm gonna need some uh, cranberries. Good. And then just make... Don't eat them. There we go. Grape jelly. Oh, no. I mixed it up. Ah, made grape jelly. What's the difference? Well, it's the same thing, effectively. It's 38 energy. I, I expect them to cost the same. So, yeah, I made grape jelly. I have no idea what it tastes like, grape jelly. But considering that grapes aren't that... Well, necess aren't necessarily that sweet of a fruit... Um, I'd imagine it doesn't actually taste all that good. But, let's see. So we have, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I buy four? Oh, I have four. Well, I thought I had three. Uh, okay. Let's sell this. And let's see where we go today. Oh, I have more. This over here. Yeah, this thing is everywhere. I'm sure... Okay. Okay, good stuff. Also get these. I could go for that, but it doesn't really matter. Let's get Roach. And actually, I forgot about something, so I'll get it as well, because we want to kill some... some uh... There we go. Because we want to kill some skeletons today. I don't think I have any bomb over here. I do not. And off we go. To town. Now, who are we going to give a gift to? Uh, could be Evelyn. Could be Caroline. Caroline and Pierre. Sounds easy. We haven't been in there in a little while. It's nobody's birthday, so it's not like we need to come to town anyway. But uh, we might have a quest, and we do. Hopefully it's killing skeletons. It is a purping mu uh, purple mushroom for Pam. Sure, Pam. Hey, Caroline. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, Caroline. Oh, I've already given Caroline a gift today. No, I have not. I just gave it to her. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Never. Otherwise, you know, it'd be a, a day off. This is my all-time favorite. Thank you. If I didn't have this shop to run, I would be outside right now. The leaves look great and the mushrooms are sprouting. Yep. Hey, Jody. When you become a parent, you have to leave your old lifestyle behind, she says. Maybe that's not entirely true, but if you're not a careful, it will happen. Well, how does... No, so do you have to, or do you end up leaving your old style lifestyle behind? What? Anyway, I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back, says Kent. I'm used to having more structure in my day. You need to get a job. Or you need to get a hobby. Or you need to... I don't know, probably a job and a hobby. That works. Just... Uh, it doesn't work. That's a shame. That probably is a very serious problem. I keep... I don't know, actually, but I, I hear that veterans are not actually that... That, uh... At least vet veterans in the U.S. are not actually that, um... Successful on their post-war life. Uh, so... I'm not really sure. I just... I, do, I don't... I don't read about that. I probably should, because... It's a problem that affects a lot of people. Uh, and especially veterans, because, of course, you know, soldiers... Uh, basically doing somebody's job for... For the, the ones in power, so... I have... I personally... I, I think I say said this before. I say this every once in a while. But I have a lot of respect for soldiers. Just because of that. Because they, they're basically sacrificing their... Their lives, very much so. And not just in a... In a literal way, but... Well, then they're in a literal way in more than more ways than one. That's the problem, uh, and uh, they're sacrificing them for something that is either more powerful than themselves or greater than themselves. 
in their eyes, of course, but, you know, that's still worthy of respect, and I, I, even though I'm against war on principle, there's, uh, and of course it's a very complicated matter, there's, I, I, I have a huge amount of respect for soldiers, and, uh, yeah, maybe it's something that I should look into, you know, the difficulties that they go through, finding an employee and struggling with, you know, the change of life, because what Kent is ma mentioning there, it's a real thing, of course, if you, it doesn't even have to be, a. It isn't. It doesn't. Even, you don't even have to be a, a war veteran. You need to just. Maybe you hold. Maybe you lived all your life working a uh, five to nine job and or nine to five job and uh, and you had a family and then one day something happens that changes that and that's all it takes. Really, that's all it takes. And I totally get that. It's just how it works. Where humans are a, a humans are a, an animal of habit. If we don't have it, if something breaks our habits, then we don't, we just, it's, it's tricky, it's very tricky. It's very, very tricky. It's like, uh, okay, that is not good. Okay, timing is gonna be very, very important here because that guy. Okay, and also life. My life points are, ooh. Okay. Okay, that was good. Let's get another bomb in here. We can waste them. That was stupid, but I think it's gonna Yeah, he did. Okay, that's another skeleton gone. That was bad timing. That guy hit me twice. Okay. 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 That worked. That worked. And we found the way down. Just keep getting skeletons, which is great. Fantastic, actually. Uh, this, oh, that's not good. I don't think it's gonna hit. It did. Good. Uh, the other. What I was gonna say is the other day I. Uh, it's been a few months actually, uh, but I read something about a study that mentioned in the elderly. Uh, I fortunately not not have to deal deal with that in my own family, but it's something that's uh, increasingly common. Also because of the, of the way our life expectancy changes, and it just keep getting older and older, and that's you know we get to deal with new realities for our brains and for our for our bodies. Um, but um, apparently, people who suffer this may sound very very. Uh, obvious by the way it did sound obvious to me but you know studies are studies need to be made for obvious things as well and it was one of the first proper studies that went into I'll go with extra speed here that went into the subject and uh, apparently if, if you're if you're an elderly person I think they they were studying people above 65 uh, which is I think it is the legally considered Ah, it doesn't really matter. I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, if you suffer a trauma or something that changes your life in a major way, something like uh, the death of a very close family member or changing house, there's like a, a huge percentage, like a very, very noticeable uh, difference in the uh, likelihood that you get uh, dementia l later, l like late life dementia. Uh, and that's... Uh, you, I, I, I can, I think I understand why that might be, just because of how, what I was saying about us being a creature of habit, we're so connected with the things that we know and do, like our commute to, uh, to work, or, um, we're not really getting that many, that was a good level though, but we're not really getting that many skeletons, which is sad, um, like our commute to work, or, oof. Or, uh, um, you know, the people we talk to, even the language we, uh, we hear. Because if you go to, a, to a, a country that speaks a different language, that's a lot of our habit just gone. Especially if you deal with, with people a lot of your time. Oh, that was really nasty. And I got a couple of hits there. Didn't mean to get them. Got some tortillas, though, so shouldn't be a problem here. They're not very refilling, but... They are enough. Keep going. No skeletons. That's a shame. I mean, we're getting a lot of stuff. 
And of course the geodes. Sounds really nice. Didn't mean to do that. Just got hit again. Oh, you're gonna need to go with a few more tortillas. Okay. Anything else over here? No. Okay, let's get another one. Just as a precaution. And we could spend a lot of time over here as well. Instead of uh, of going back home early. No, actually we can't. We need to go close the barn. Yeah. Well, we can close it very late, but I don't have the horse with me. I don't think roach, I should say. Or maybe I do. I don't remember. And there is the bass. Okay, let's go. Again, not finding skeletons or holes on the floor. She's sad. Or a lot of ladders, really. I think I might be able to craft one. Kind of don't want to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with one. Uh, can I make ladders? I almost can. Might as well just get the stone from here. Okay. I think I'll, I'm about to. Where is it? Oh, I need two more. Just not finding it. And we found the ladder. Okay, the area is infested. So we're gonna have to be careful here. I don't know what it is infested with. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. Good. I'm pretty sure the other guy that we didn't kill at the entrance was also part of the infestation. I'm not sure he's gonna come back. I hope he does. They usually home on me very fast. Or maybe I just hallucinated. Did you see the flyer? Yep, he was there. He was definitely there. Okay, I have the speed. Yeah, right. Good. No, also the luck? Not the luck. Okay. And there we go. Okay, this is a skeleton area, so let's move on. And get a few more skeletons. If I can. Unless, of course, there's no skeletons. Which might very well be a possibility here. And it is. Nope! Is it? Huh. That's a shame. Yeah, let's go back. No, no, you can stay where you are. This is not a skeleton area. Let's get out of here. We got a couple more hardwoods. We don't need it because uh, we have enough of the... Of the barrels that... The, the, you know, that keep the, the wine in them. So let's go back home. We got a good amount of resources, I imagine. A good amount of money, of course. Gonna make. And Roach is waiting for us. I kind of did stretch that time a little bit. Roach is wondering where you've been. Does he always wonder that when uh, when I go to the Calico Desert? Okay, so sell that. Sell this. That's not a purple mushroom, is it? What is it? It's a red mushroom. Okay, sell the diamonds. Sell fire quartz. I think that's good. Keep that one over there. I'm gonna put these in here. Like that. All of these over there. We have a few more. Fantastic. Can make a few more of these. Fantastic. One, two, three. There we go. Put that all in there. And that all in there. The rest of the stuff goes somewhere else. Let's process this. There we go. I smelt that, as I should say. Okay, put these in there. And this in there. Good. Uh, need to take Roach with me. Wherever he is. There he is. Can't see him very well at all. And close the barn. Okay. That's the only one we got? I think it is. Missed you guys. Sorry. Okay. And I think I missed something else as well. I'm pretty sure. 
Yeah. There's a little bit more of this over here. Okay. And I need this over there. I can sell these over here. I don't have that much food, but that's gonna be for winter. Making food in winter? Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good thing. Sounds like a good thing to me. Uh, we have one, two, three. That's actually too many of them. Don't drink it. Put that in there, and that in there, and this goes right here. Good. And then another egg. There it is. Okay, it's getting pretty late. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We don't need to hurry. Look at that. Okay, I need to hurry a little bit. Hey, Abigail. No, 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 let's say hi to her. I used to be a night owl. Yes, I know. Let's go to sleep. How much money? And I still have a little bit, a little bit of it in my inventory. A fair bit. We didn't really get too much stuff, though, because no crops, of course. But, yeah. Traditional 10,000 gold per day. Sounds good to me. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the uh, the returning wand. But it's winter now. For right now, I'm Girl RPG, and this has been Stardew Valley. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!